Hi guys, it's Suri, so welcome back to my channel. So about a year ago, I think I did my first round of if you like this, then you'll like this book recommendations and I thought it was time to do another one of these. I will link the old video in the cards that is definitely still valid, but here's some more books that I think if you like one of them, you will most likely also enjoy the other. First, if you like The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty, I think you'll also enjoy The Golem and the Genie by Helene Wecker and obviously vice versa. The City of Brass is a 2018 fantasy about a young woman who discovers that she's part djinn and gets taken to the city of brass where the other djinn live and like she discovers this whole new world of like mythology and um yeah adventure basically whereas the golem and the genie is set in new york at the turn of the century from 1800s to 1900s and it follows a golem and a genie duh who basically get introduced to the world of humans for the first time and strike up a friendship to help each other along and we also discover some morphological backgrounds of these two but mainly it's about their friendship so obviously story-wise the two don't have that much in common but if you're somebody who enjoys genie stories this is definitely another one I highly recommend checking out next if you enjoy anything pretty much by Agatha Christie here we have Murder on the Orient Express. I think you might also really enjoy The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. Stuart Turton has actually said himself that Agatha Christie was a huge influence on his writing and on his way of story and mystery telling. And I think that's definitely noticeable in this book in particular. Agatha Christie, as we all know, is a very renowned mystery writer. She's written about a million books and I can't give you any synopsis on any of them. But The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle is about a man that basically has to relive the same day over and over again in the body of a party guest at this huge mansion where the daughter of the house dies every day at midnight and he has to discover her murderer. The story is very complex and intricate but it also gives off the vibe of like a very mellow mystery type thing and just the slow development of the mystery and unraveling of the mystery and the complexities of it is an absolute joy to read. So highly recommend and if for some weird reason that I cannot possibly imagine you have not yet read anything by Agatha Christie then genuinely what are you doing with your life? I mean get on that now. Another mystery pair I have is Miss Fran Fisher Investigates by Carrie Greenwood and The Widows of Malabra Hill by Sajata Massey. Both of these books are historical fiction mysteries. This one is set in Australia and this one's set in India. They both um, discuss sort of the role of women in those particular societies at these times. They have female leads that are pretty kick-ass and sort of anachronistically feminist to a certain extent for their times but it doesn't matter because they're fun to read about this one is definitely a bit more on the humorous side this one more serious and kind of discusses more the cultural um, situation and historical setting in a lot more detail than this one does but overall I highly recommend to check either of them out basically. Next if you enjoyed In Order to Live by Yan Mi Park I think you should also check out The Best We Could Do by T. Bui. Both of these are non-fiction memoirs. This one obviously about Yan Mi Park's escape from North Korea whereas in T. Bui's The Best We Could Do we follow her and her family as they escape Vietnam after or during the war to the US and this is an illustrated graphic novel obviously whereas this is just a standard book but both of these are very well written very moving and reveal a lot about both these people themselves as well as the circumstances that they grew up in and they're very hard-hitting and very well written so if you've read this one I highly recommend checking out this one as well and my last pairing is probably a little bit more unorthodox but if you enjoyed Burial Rites by Hannah Kent I recommend checking out The Dove Keepers by Alice Hoffman both of these are historical fiction Burial Rites follows the last woman that was executed in Iceland and The Dove Keepers is set in 70 AD where 900 Jews held out against the Romans on a mountain for months and ended up being slaughtered almost entirely now both of these books I think are quite difficult to read especially the Dove Keepers at times they're very hard-hitting historical fictions that are based on real events the Dove Keepers is probably 
even more on the like difficult to read side but either way if you enjoyed burial rites i recommend checking out the dove keepers as well and that's it for this quick run through of some book recommendations based on other books you might have already read if you have any other pairs that come to mind leave them in the comments down below and let me know what you thought of the books that i mentioned today while you're down there please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you back very soon with another video until then have a lovely week Bye!